Hello and uh, welcome back to what I'm calling my journey as a dyslexic. Uh, my name is Alden Albino. Uh, I've created a series on uh, YouTube videos on how I'm learning to speak, read, write French as a dyslexic. Uh, uh, today's video in my series is uh, a little out of my norm. Um, today I think I'm going to just call this one whining and frustrated. I'm angry but it has nothing to do and I say nothing to do nothing to do nothing to do with my school or my great teachers or my classmates who I get absolutely amazing support uh, my frustration has to do with me being told you are very intelligent and very bright uh, but at the same time struggling to remember things when it comes to the French language it's just killing me inside I watch my classmates get and accomplish things and I'm not envious by no means but I am frustrated that I will work and I will work and I see nothing coming back some days and I know my teachers are working really hard to help me and some days I see the puzzlement and bewilderment on them. And I know they know I'm working hard. But sometimes I wonder what they really think of me. And that's just me. And the same thing for my classmates. They, they're there for me. But sometimes I wonder if they know how hard I'm really trying. How many hours I put in. Uh, I had to do a project. And for some of them it was, uh, you know, very easy. An hour I spent about three hours just writing up stuff on the board and then I spent another two hours preparing my papers and then another hour they seemed to make it look easy like it was effortlessly effortless for them and as I said I'm not jealous of them but I'm just so frustrated at how much work I had to put in just to meet the minimum standard that they're reaching it's 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 hard some days I walk in there and I'm, what is wrong with me? Why am I so broken? And the only, which I guess worked out in my favor, as I saw myself struggling, that is why my search for who I am and what I am led me to find out that I was a dyslexic. And then, then I understood it. And I understood the work I have to put in. And I understand all of this, but today I'm frustrated. I work and I work and I feel like I take two steps forward and some days two or three steps back some days two steps forward and one step back and it just it kills me inside I go into school and I know that they treat me well and they respect me and I know it's in my mind but I feel stupid I feel useless and I feel horrible but thanks to my school thanks to my classmates and especially my teachers who see my frustration and I hope they see it has nothing to do with them but it has to do with me trying to figure it out is what it is I think this video today is to realize that as a dyslexic I think we all hit that road that that wall where we all get frustrated and I wanted you to see my frustration so that maybe you understand it's normal I, it may seem odd but I remember when I was going through my divorce I ended up talking to a bunch of different people and who were going through divorces and I realized I wasn't alone so I guess today's video is to kind of say you're not alone in the frustration and the struggle to be or seen equal in the eyes of your friends and I do understand why we hide this I, I, as a dyslexic but we need to share together the struggles that we have so that we don't feel alone I haven't had the opportunity to talk to other dyslexics yet about how I feel and the stress and the struggle of trying to achieve this particular goal when it comes to French. But
today is just it's killing me inside it's killing me inside and it's just hurting me but I will keep fighting there's a great statement once it's not how many times you get knocked down but how many times you get back up and I will keep getting up and I'll keep moving forward and keep trying and constantly trying to achieve this but I just wanted to say Wow. Tough day. Tough week. And that's all I can think of. Anyhow, I'm hoping uh, the next video or the series of videos, please keep watching and I uh, hope it brings you some comfort or some understanding or some explanation or something that will help you. Because for me, helping others makes me feel better. Thank you for watching and please leave your comments. Take care. Bye.